Alright, you might be thinking about buying a new camera, but you're a little bit confused with the debate between crop frame cameras and full frame cameras, and you really don't know what is this all about and what seems to be the issue here. Well, let's see if I can explain it to you in less than three minutes. Let's go. Now, the main difference between a crop frame camera and a full frame camera is the actual physical size of the sensor. In crop frame cameras, the sensor is smaller than in full frame cameras, so therefore it only captures the center of the image produced by the lens, cutting out the edges to a certain crop factor. Now, in Canon cameras, this crop factor is 1.6. So, how does this affect your photos then? When you put a 35 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, the sensor captures the full image produced by that lens, therefore making it a full 35mm focal length photo. But when you pair the same 35mm lens with a crop frame camera, the smaller sensor captures only the center of the image, making it equivalent to a photo taken with a 56mm lens on a full frame camera. And this is what you can calculate from the crop factor, 35mm times 1.6 is 56mm. So is this a good or a bad thing and which one is better? Usually full frame cameras are more expensive because of the bigger sensor but they are also better at low light situations for the same reason. The crop frame cameras like the R7 here are excellent when it comes to shooting objects which are further away. And this is because of the 1.6 crop factor which makes your 70-200mm telezoom a whopping 112-320mm telezoom. So if I would be taking photos of let's say lions, I would always go with the R7 because I could be further away with the same lens and get the same result than the guy shooting with the full frame and the same lens. Because let's face it, nobody wants to be the guy who ends up in the news because they got mauled by a lion or a grizzly bear or something. Ugh. Now, of course, when it comes to the wide end of scale, to get the same wide field of view with a 60mm lens on a full frame, you are gonna need a 10mm lens on your crop frame camera. Now, I've been taking photographs with a crop frame camera for over 20 years now, and never I have run into an issue or a situation where I would have needed a full frame camera. I know exactly what to expect when I throw a 50mm or a 35mm lens on my camera, and I adjust my shooting accordingly. The biggest difference between these two might actually be the price of the camera itself and the lenses that you are going to buy for your camera. The lenses for full frame cameras are more expensive than the ones especially designed for the crop frame cameras. So if you decide to go with a crop frame camera, you might actually save a whole bunch of money with the lenses specially designed for the crop frame camera. Now Canon has just started rolling out new RFS series lenses which are designed for the crop frame. Sigma already has an awesome lineup of lenses designed for crop frame cameras. So if if you're asking my opinion about it, after shooting 20 years with crop frame cameras, I'd say that get the crop frame camera, save some money on the body and save some money on the lenses. And you will still get absolutely fantastic results. So if you're taking photos of everyday life, capturing memories or if you're doing photography as a little side hustle, a crop frame camera like the Canon EOS R7 will serve your needs perfectly. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. Now if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you have not done so already, check this video out next and as always, I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.